Why should you care about the three things that allowed this guy to ride out the bumps? Why should you care about becoming two minutes tough? Let me tell you why. When I was a 22 year old kid, I was given a very unique opportunity, an opportunity to compare incredible highs with incredible lows. And then to ask myself a couple of questions. Where do we truly learn? What makes us the very best version of ourselves? What I discovered was that regardless of the path we take in life, turbulence is guaranteed. If you know what you're doing, that turbulence can be transformational. A lot of people say the world is getting smaller. Well, for Ryan Campbell, it's about to get a whole lot bigger. At the end of the month, the 19-year-old will take off from our coast and attempt a record-breaking journey in a tiny plane. But I was actually in the Australian Museum. We were there for the opening of a new exhibition. It was called Trailblazers, Australia's 50 Greatest Explorers. But then they started to name the explorers who'd made the list. And as they called out these names one by one all around the room, people started to stand up. But then something kind of wild happened. They called out my name. I am a normal Aussie kid. Any more laid back, I'd be lying down, right? <laughs> so we all agreed on a bar and we set off walking. And without a word of a lie, 30 minutes later, in the middle of Sydney, with multiple iPhones in our hands, six of Australia's 50 greatest explorers were completely lost. These, these people weren't my heroes because of what they'd achieved. They were my heroes because they were completely normal humans who had a really big dream and they went out and they pursued it. But more than anything, every time they faced a challenge, which was so incredibly often, every time they were knocked down, they would get back up again. Despite those experiences, little did I know, I was actually about to be schooled in resilience in ways that I never knew possible. Just a few months later, I went back to that same exhibition, but I went back there as a paraplegic in a wheelchair. We became airborne, and as the end of this grass runway disappeared beneath the, uh, the nose of the aeroplane, the engine fell. What resulted was a horrific plane crash. Everything in that moment changed. I was incredibly lucky to be uh, breathing, but um, they cut me out of that wreckage, they took me to hospital and they started uh, operating on me immediately. And uh, I woke up sometime later in a uh, recovery ward and that's when I realised that I had no movement or feeling below my waist and I was diagnosed by the doctors as a complete paraplegic. The resilience that we found in those 50 greatest explorers, it's not reserved for only explorers. Success for every single one of us, not just in business but in life in general, is not in the turbulence that we face, but in the way in which we ride out those bumps. Now as humans, at home in a business, when we find ourselves in turbulence, the first thing that we want to do naturally is grab those throttles and push them forward. And we want to speed up. We want to get out of that turbulence, we want to be back in smooth air as fast as we physically can. But the reality is the opposite. We also have to grab the throttles and we have to pull them back. Slowing down is incredibly important. It's what gives us the time to analyse, extract and store the lessons and the wisdom that's hidden within those turbulent times. This third and final lesson in becoming turbulence tough, not something that you would expect. I'd like to introduce you to Flow. <laughs> Flow is a 1960, uh, two and a half tonne pink Cadillac. Some say it's the worst financial decision I've ever made in my life. <laughs> we have found that car, no word of a lie, on three separate dating profiles of people we've never met. <laughs> but the coolest thing about this car is, it's when people just stop. They just stop and they stare. And they smile. Grown adults, they smile like a kid. As Aretha and Bruce and Elvis will tell you, we all need a pink Cadillac. What's the one thing you do for you that doesn't quite make sense, not quite logical? I want you to go out there, I want you to find something that you can do that makes you smile like a kid. I want you to do something for yourself. You take a little bit of time for you, you will show up better in your professional life. So I want you to ask yourself a question. What's your pick like?